I'm so excited to be kicking off the holiday season here on my channel. I have so much fun holiday content coming your way. And to kick things off, I thought I would do the ultimate gift guide for her. I have no doubts in this video, you'll be able to find something for everyone on your list. I'm, I'm gonna be sharing the best gifts for 2022. This video is gonna have a variety of price points and gift ideas, so down in the description box, I'll have everything linked, and I'll also group things together by price point or by recipient to make your gift shopping so easy. Before we get started, if you're looking for more gift ideas, I wanted to give you a heads up that I'll be sending out an extra email to my newsletter subscribers every week leading up to Christmas Day. On Saturdays, I'll be sending out a gift guide for every type of recipient that you may possibly need, so I know there's gonna be one for the men in your life, teachers, white elephant, different price points, you name it, I'll be sending it out to your inbox. So if you are subscribed, look out for that in your inbox on Saturday. And if you wanna get on the list, I will link a sign up form down in the description box. All right, starting off with gifts under 25. So these would be great stocking stuffers, gifts for your friends, coworkers, teachers. So first is this bag clip holder. And y'all, this is such a great gift idea. It's something that they probably don't have and will actually use and it's so affordable as well. It's definitely under $20. So this is just a little holder for your handbag. You can use it on you know, the dinner table if you're out to a restaurant and you don't wanna put your bag on the floor or put it on the chair. It would also be great if you're traveling or if you need to hook your bag on like the bathroom stall, just keep it in your purse. This is such a good gift idea, even for like white elephants, coworkers, teachers, everyone, everyone needs this. Another really great gift is the reverse umbrella. This would be great, again, for white elephant or coworkers or even a teacher on your shopping list. This is such a practical item. And when you get one, you're gonna be like, why haven't all umbrellas been made like this? The biggest pro is that it keeps you dry when you're running into the car. And I love the hook function. Trust me, this is such a good gift. I will actually be sharing a dedicated Amazon gift guide video for everyone on your list. So stay tuned for that. I didn't wanna share too many Amazon gifts in this video for that reason, but there are some that are just too good. I had to include them. So next is this pill organizer. This is something I use every single day. It would be a really great stocking stuffer. Wouldn't recommend to get this for like a coworker or teacher, that type of thing, because it's kind of a personal item. But this would be great for stockings or for someone you're really close to that you know that they would use this. Um, but this makes taking your vitamins and any medications so much easier. And it does come in a bunch of colors as well. Next are these makeup bags. These are from Target and I have them in every single size. And I actually have multiples of these as well. They're so good, so affordable. They're easy to wash. You can actually throw this in the laundry if you need to clean it up. I use these for travel and what you can do with this type of gift is you could throw in you know little goodies like chapstick like the Burt's Bees chapstick or things like that for example little hair ties so you can kind of customize these gifts if you like to do that and gift multiple things out these are very reasonably priced makeup bags and things like that and they're also great for travel if you're looking for more stocking stuffer ideas in general let me know if you want to see a specific video for that type of price point or if you have any specific requests definitely let me know down in the comments because I'm planning out all of that content. But I also have a ton of resources already available for you in the LTK app, so I will link that down below. And they have this new gift guide feature, so I have a bunch of those already up. Gifts for men, stocking stuffers, gifts at certain price points, like under 50. So definitely check that out if you're looking for more gift ideas. It's a really great resource and makes shopping so easy. Next, I wanted to move into practical gift ideas that are reasonably priced under $50. And when it comes to my personal stocking and Christmas gifts in general, I kind of grew up with very practical things, especially in my stocking. When I see stocking stuffers, sometimes I'm like, wow, that must be nice because it's like Dior lip gloss and Chanel hand lotion. And in my stocking, it was like Hershey Kisses, an orange was always at the bottom new toothpaste, sometimes a toothbrush, things like that. So we always kind of go the practical route, which is nice because they're things you know that they're gonna use. But it is fun to also include some good gift ideas that are reasonably priced as well. So I have some of those in here. First thing would be this birdie alarm. This is, I think, right at $30. And these would be great for any female. They are basically a security alarm that won't accidentally go off in your purse because you have to physically like pull it to have the alarm go off, whereas a lot of them are buttons, 
which can accidentally go off in your handbag. So this is a really practical gift. And honestly, if you're a dad or something like that, it will give you a lot of sense of security as well. The other thing would be beauty products. I feel like those are great to give in stockings or for more reasonably priced gifts. One of my favorite gifts in my stocking was always dry shampoo because I go through it so much. My holy grail dry shampoo is Moroccan oil. I highly recommend if you haven't tried it. They have a light tones and a dark tones and I love it for blonde especially because it really brightens your hair. It doesn't dull it and it's really light. Um, but if they have a dry shampoo of choice, obviously I would go with that one, but I will link my favorite one down below. And it is currently the Sephora sale as well. So if you're shopping that right now, you can save 15% off. The code is savings, I believe. So now is a great time to stock up on any sort of beauty gifts if you are shopping that sale. Another great practical gift would be the Divi Hair Serum. I think this is right at 49. So it's just under 50. And I have been using this product and really love it. If I ever notice I have a really dry, or itchy or just somewhat sensitive scalp, it always soothes it. I haven't used it consistently enough to notice hair regrowth, but I have heard from a lot of my friends that they've had success with it, so I'm trying to get better about using it. But I think this would be a really great gift to give this season, especially for a new mom. If you know that they just had a baby or they may be experiencing postpartum hair loss, they would definitely appreciate this gift. Next is the Stanley Cup, and this is probably gonna be one of the top gifts for 2022 if I had to Predict. This is a great gift idea for your brother, for your dad, for even your husband to throw in their stocking. I love this thing. It's totally worth the hype. I was so anti getting it because I just thought it received so much hype and I'm like, it's just a water bottle. And it is just a water bottle, honestly. But I am very glad that I have it. I love the handle. I love that it doesn't have that silicone band around it. Those are so finicky. This one just screws on, which I love. It's not 100% leak proof. It does leak through the straw, but they did improve the side here so you don't have as much spillage through there. They have so many pretty colors now. This is the pink one. I also have the white. I will actually be giving a couple away as well. So if you're interested in winning some of those, definitely be following on Instagram and check my stories because that will be going up really soon. I have two to give away to y'all. This is the 40 ounce. They also have a 30 ounce, which would probably be the more practical option and it is a little more affordable. That's the size that I gifted to Tim and he loves his as well. It keeps your water so cold. I will have ice in this the next day, which is really nice. And the large one's good if you stay at home. I wouldn't say it's as portable because it is very heavy, but it's nice that I don't have to fill it up constantly throughout the day. Next gift under 50 is the Lululemon belt bag. If you can get your hands on this thing, I highly recommend. And I know this would be on a ton of, you know, younger adult wish lists. So if you're trying to figure out like a Gen Z gift, I think this would be great. This would be amazing for like a new mom. Honestly, these are just so, so practical and totally worth the hype. I use mine way more than I thought I would. And it also fits a lot more than it looks like it would. If you can't get your hands on the Lululemon one, I will link a look for less option that is available on Amazon. I haven't tried that one personally, but I have heard that they are very similar. Another good gift. This is right under $30. It's the five minute journal. And this would be great for someone who is really focused on their mental health or they're really into wellness and meditation, things like that. This is a really great, like kind of positivity journal in a way. And I do notice a difference when I use this consistently. So this would be a great little stocking stuffer good for him or her. Moving into gift ideas for the home, I highly recommend these appliances at Walmart. I have a ton in my own kitchen and I've also gifted some for housewarming gifts. They are really aesthetically beautiful, but they also function really well. We use the air fryer all the time. That would be a great gift for, if you're looking for a good couple gift, a housewarming gift, um, a college student. I think they're really beautiful and would be really good practical gifts. Next, you know, if it's a home category, I have to mention the Barefoot Dreams blanket. This is one of my top recommended gifts. I don't know anyone who would be disappointed by receiving that. It is so cozy. It's so massive. Honestly, two people can use it on the couch, which is nice. I personally own two. Y'all know I'm a big fan. Highly recommend giving any, really anything Barefoot Dreams, but especially love my blanket. If you're looking for one that's more reasonably priced, you can often find them around $50 this time of year. So I will link to those as well down below. I do want to note that those are much smaller, but they are a good gift. I've given them as gifts myself. And I do actually 
actually have one of those to give away this holiday season as well. That would be a great gift for your mother-in-law. That's what we gave um, Tim's mom last year and she loves it, or your mom or a new mom. I just highly recommend. Honestly, everyone needs one. Next gift for the home would be the Pura diffuser. I bought this back in the summertime and I really enjoyed it. It's nice that you can set a schedule. So if you only want it to go off, you know, when you're home or when you're having visitors over, you can set a different schedule and it will just have the scent going whenever you want it. You control it with an app on your phone, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about candles or anything like that and you can change up the scents as well. So I think that's a really great gift idea for the home or for a new homeowner. I have been really loving mine. I actually have two, one upstairs and one downstairs. The next home item for her is this jewelry box and this is again something that I recommend every single year because it's one of my personal favorite things. Not only is it really beautiful sitting out and it's really functional because it stores your jewelry, but I did notice a big difference because I was able to find my jewelry so much easier. It wasn't all hidden away because I'm definitely like an out of sight, out of mind type of person. And so when my jewelry was tucked away and I couldn't see it, I wasn't as likely to pull it out. I would just kind of wear the same things. So it's nice to mix it up a little bit more. There are so many reasons to love it. It's really practical, but also really beautiful. So guys, if you don't know what to get your girl, I highly recommend this jewelry box. Next gift for the home would be the silk pillowcases. I think these make a huge difference with your hair and skin, and they're also just really comfortable as well. Both Tim and I use these, and I think they're just a really great practical gift for the home. The next item is another top gift. When I was looking at my analytics from last year, this was one of the most purchased items in November, and that is the Anthropology Primrose Mirror. It's actually the mirror that I use for my try-on hauls here in my office that I get asked about quite a bit, and I also also have a three foot version in my daughter's nursery as well. So they have a bunch of different sizes. If you've had this mirror on your wish list, I would say Black Friday is the best time to get it because it's 30% off. So I wouldn't buy it right now, but just wanted to give you a heads up that that is the best time to buy it. My last gift for the home would be some sort of cookware. I know that Always Pan has been really popular the last two years for the gift giving season. I personally haven't tried one, but I am curious to try it because our recent pan just bit the dust. I'm torn between that or trying Caraway. So if you have tried any of those, definitely let me know your feedback in the comments. But I know the Always Pan goes on sale quite a bit throughout this month, and it's been a really popular gift the past couple of years. Moving into beauty gifts, like I did mention, now would be a really great time to get these gifts because you can find them on sale at Sephora. Not all of them, but if you do have beauty gifts on your shopping list, I would definitely take advantage right now. One of the items I would recommend, I think this is included in the Sephora sale, is the T3 curling iron. That's the curling iron that I have used for years and years. And what I love about it is it comes with a bunch of different attachments so I can switch up my look. It's also really great for traveling because you can separate it and it's really nice to pack. It's not like awkward. I personally really like to mix up my barrel sizes. I kind of go through phases with each one where I use one consistently and then I kind of want to mix it up. So it's nice to have that variety. Another beauty gift would be the Ricky mirror. This is something I've recommended year after year and it's because I use mine every single day. I personally love that it's really flat and thin so I actually store it on top of my makeup drawer. Really easy for travel. It lights up. It comes with um, a magnification attachment and it also comes with a phone attachment as well. I think this is such a good gift idea. It's really practical and something that they will likely use every single day. Another beauty gift idea and this is going to be more of a luxury item because it is pretty expensive, but that is the Dyson Airwrap, and I personally love mine. I found mine refurbished, so I was able to save a little bit of money off of mine, but I use mine every single week. It's what I actually use today to get this kind of blowout effect, and I do know Shark came out with a version recently. I haven't tried that one myself, but I have heard good things, so if they don't have their heart set on the Dyson Airwrap, that would be another really great option as well, but 
I personally love my air wrap. I use it every single time I wash my hair and also to kind of restyle it as well. I do have a detailed review on the air wrap. I compared the dry time and styling time to a regular curling iron and I went into so many pros and cons and things like that. So if you're doing your research on the air wrap, I will link my review for you down below. I'm also working on a post on how I get my style to hold. So I don't think that will be up just yet, but stay tuned. That will be on the blog soon. Next, I wanted to share some fashion gifts for her. So if she really loves fashion and style, which she probably does if she's watching this channel, here are the top gifts that I recommend. First, the Spanx faux leather leggings. These have been a bestseller, I think for the past three holiday seasons that I've been tracking. I can kind of look at my analytics through the years. And I also get emails on popular items. And I know the Spanx leggings have been on it year after year after year. They are so flattering. I love so many Spanx pieces, honestly, like they are amazing quality, but you just can't go wrong with the faux leather leggings. And I do have a Spanx code. It's Amanda John X Spanx. So if you're wanting to get anything at Spanx, you can use that code for 10% off. Next, I would recommend this Juliet cardigan. This is one of my favorite things at the moment. It's such a classic piece. It's really good quality. It's going to hold up for years and I think it can be styled so many ways. So it's a really versatile item. You can use it in your work wardrobe, but it also looks great styled with jeans on the weekend. So I find it very versatile. And for that reason, I highly recommend. My next fashion recommendation would be this Zella wrap coats. I have been talking a lot about this for the past year, but it's one of my favorite things. It's really great too if you want to gift something for someone who's going to be pregnant or postpartum. It was one of my personal favorite things during that time. It's really nursing friendly. It's surprisingly really warm as well. You can wear it three different ways. It's great athleisure piece. It's long enough for leggings and I highly recommend. Next, I would recommend some Lululemon leggings. If they want something comfortable, you can't go wrong with the Align leggings. They are just so comfortable. I wear mine all the time. Um, if you want more of an athletic legging, I highly recommend the Booty Boost leggings. Those are by far the most flattering leggings that I have ever tried, and they don't attract pet hair. Um, but I think really a lot of things from Lululemon would make really great gifts, so I'll link some of my favorites down below. Moving into some luxury gift ideas for her. First, I would recommend a Burberry scarf. This would also be a great gift idea for a man who loves to dress well as well. Well as well, wow. <laughs> Talking's hard sometimes. The scarf that I have is in the color blush. I will link to where you can find this exact color down below because it's not available everywhere. But I also would recommend if you are gonna make a more luxury splurge, I would wait until Saks does their gift card event because if you're spending the money anyway, you can get a gift card back based on what you spend. And that's when I typically like to buy things. So I recently got another Burberry scarf with a gift card that I had from one of their gift card events. So I did wanna mention that if you have some look, not necessarily even all luxury shopping because you can get you know beauty items and things like that there but I would definitely check out their gift card events. I usually share them on my Instagram stories whenever I see them live. Next, I would recommend a designer crossbody bag. These are very practical, but they also are a little more reasonably priced than most designer bags out there. I find that their crossbody styles are a little more reasonable. This is one from YSL. I love this color. I also have the Gucci Soho Disco Bag and that's a great option. I think that has been a really popular gift the past two or three years. I do have a blog post comparing this one to the Gucci Soho Disco Bag. But I will link that blog post for you down below if you're torn between the two styles. I go into the pros and cons of each. Another designer handbag that is a little more reasonably priced is this Chloe Woody Tote. And I have used this a ton this year. I got mine at the beginning of the year. Um, it's great size for a work bag. It carries a laptop, great for travel, although it does not zip close, just FYI. I do also have a review of this bag on my blog. If you're curious on my thoughts on this, there are definitely some pros and cons to consider. So check out that blog post before you purchase. If you're shopping for a gift for her and you want to get her something really nice that she may not necessarily buy herself, but you don't have it in your budget to buy like an expensive designer handbag or something, you know, over $500. 
A good gift idea that I would recommend is the Dior scarves. I think these are really beautiful and I use mine tied on handbags. I tie them in my hair. I tie them around my neck. I think they're a very classic style and they are a luxury piece that she may not necessarily buy herself. I think they're right around $250. So if you're looking for a little luxury for less, I highly recommend the little twilly scarves. I'll have some more gift ideas coming your way here on my channel very soon and I also have a ton of gift guides going out in the LTK app that I'll be sharing on stories so if you're not following me over there my Instagram is strawberrychicxo and that's where you can find me day to day sharing my outfit of the days and things like that. I also wanted to give you a heads up that I do plan to do a haul week around Black Friday so I'll be uploading a new video here on my channel every single week around that time and then I'll also be sharing my Black Black Friday haul as well. So, so much fun stuff to come. I love this time of year. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later this week with a new video. Bye!